Kevin, football season is upon us. You've got to feel good about it. It is, yeah. We're starting our two days like most teams are and kind of getting a feel of, of what we have on our team. And uh, we're certainly excited about the season coming forward. You're a championship head coach, uh, not the defending champion or the reigning champion. That goes to J.P. Cercelli and the CCH Crusaders. But you know what it's like to be at the top. How hungry are the guys in green to get back there? Yeah, I think certainly last year our season ended in a disappointing way. Uh, we have a lot of our veterans coming back who have had an opportunity to succeed at a mm -hmm. championship level. And I think that they worked hard in the offseason to kind of get ready to, to get back on that championship run. If you're going to be good, you have to have great players coming through the system at all times. Mm. Whereabouts are you in the cycle right now? I think we're kind of where we want to be. We have a lot of returning players that are experienced and have trained hard. And we have some really talented junior guys coming up that have, have had some success mm -hmm. in the junior program. And our junior program, I think, does an awesome job of preparing our kids for, for the senior level. So when you mix that in together, you have a, kind of a good recipe for success. Uh, brand new structure for yeah. TV Raw football this coming year. Mm. Can you explain it in a nutshell, what's happening, how it's broken down? Yeah, I think that the best way to explain it is that we have an extra game, and I think most teams were looking forward to that. Uh, with, we have two tiers, you know, an A division and, and a B division, and within the A division, we have two tiers as well. Mm -hmm. So we have crossover games, we have rivalries, and I think it's going to be an exciting year for, for football. Why, why break it into two as opposed to slicing it into three the way it was done in the past. Yeah, I think what people want to do is, is give those upper level mid teams chances to compete against mm -hmm. some of the higher and, and, and better teams. So that way you're hoping that you can kind of create more of an overall competitive atmosphere in high school football. Is yeah. this part of the evolu uh, evolution of high school football in yeah. London? Uh, just better organization, mm -hmm. a better focus, a more understanding of what you want to try to accomplish at the end of the day? Yeah, I think you're starting to see really good football in London. Mm -hmm. I think that comes with coaching, and I think that kind of comes with dedication from the players as well. And you're starting to see more and more programs develop their players. You know, I think summer football is helping. You know, I think camps are helping. I think the success, success at, at Western is mm -hmm. helping as well. So when you get that, you have kids that are now hungry to, to play football and you're seeing teams and, and programs get better and they want to have better competition. I think these two tiers allows that to happen. I was playing baseball at Citywide Field on a Tuesday night. It was like 9 o'clock in the evening. Baseball, the dirty word. <laughs> but uh, at Citywide, they have the new turf there for, yeah. for football. 9 in, at night, and yeah. you have kids pint size playing football. Mm -hmm. uh, both fields were full. Yeah. I mean, that's got to be encouraging for you. Yeah, and there's certainly a, an appetite for football here in London. You think about the summer teams, you think about the Alpha May, you think about Mustangs, the Thunderbirds, mm -hmm. London Falcons, the Beef Eaters. This, this place is a hotbed for football, and I think high school football is in the center of that. Uh, the Southeast teams, just to kind of divert real mm -hmm. quick. Uh, the Southeast teams, how do, how do they fit into the picture? Will the challenge games still be a part of it? Do they, uh, are they incorporated now into the playoff structure? Do you find that to be a, still a bone of contention to figure out how they'll apply to the big picture? Uh, it, to be honest, it's an unresolved issue mm -hmm. still at this point. You know, in years past, there's been the Western Bowl for, for, for teams from this area. That's kind of up in the air because of the extra football game that we'll be playing. Mm -hmm. We're not sure if that's going to work out with timing-wise. I mean, our league has to sit down with the Southeast League and, and have a discussion about how do we want to best represent this area on a provincial level. Is it impossible to bring the Southeast into the greater whole and, and just have one massive league, or is that just way too complex? It, 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 at this point, I think it's a little bit too complex just because you'd be now removing teams from our division from that playoff structure. And I don't think we're there yet, but I think uh, certainly with the TV Raw overhaul, we're on the right path to kind of making things right. So the A teams get a chance to play for the city championship. There are 10, yep. 12 of them. Uh, there is no more crossover game, or is there still that opportunity for a team from the southeast to come in and beat the juggernaut from the Forest City? There, there would be if there was that challenge oh, okay. game going yeah. to the Western Bowl. I'm just not sure at this point whether our league is going to be able to compete with that based on our schedule so, because of the extra game. So the challenge game is up in the air right now? Right. Yeah. Ah, so is the Western Bowl. So is the Western Bowl. Yeah. Wow. Um, yeah. but the season gets started here in a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, the Red Feather game's happening on week two. Yep. Um, <laughs> interesting yep. concept. Uh, from, from now until then, what is happening with the Mother Teresa Spartans? Some exhibition games, training mm -hmm. camp? Describe it. Yeah, we're doing it in the middle of our training camp uh, this week. And next week, we're going down to uh, Burlington to play the Nelson Lords, who have probably the top quarterback in the province and maybe even the country in Will Finch. So it'll be a good test for us. And then we're also going to have a, a little practice scrimmage with uh, St. Thomas Aquinas 
and then our first game will be against John Paul too. So we have a, a good chunk of time to make sure that we're ready for the first game this season. How hard do you go during exhibition play? You don't want anybody hurt, but you want to see what you've got so you can't have people playing mm -hmm. at uh, 40, 50 percent either. Yeah, I think our attitude this year is we want to be a championship team. Mm -hmm. So we want to play championship football every down, every quarter. So our, our mentality right now is to go down and win that football game. What does it mean to hoist the city championship trophy yeah. late fall TD Waterhouse Stadium? Just what does it mean to the kids? Yeah. I think, and no disrespect to any other sport, but I think it's the hardest championship to win here in London. I mean, you think the think about the caliber, sorry, the caliber of players, mm -hmm. the caliber of coaching, how long the season is, how grueling it is, the, the amount of that we ask for the kids for film to watch film to train, and just the pounding on the body. Now, you know, for these kids to kind of see them hoist that trophy, you know, usually on a cold Saturday night, uh, it's an unbelievable experience, not just for them, but for for the coaches as well. It, it's an, an incredible accomplishment. I mean, there's there's lots of, of players and, and teams that never have that opportunity. And for them to say that they've hoisted that, it, I think it's awesome. And then they get to go home and watch what they've PVR'd on CTV London, of course, <laughs> exactly. the highlights in the post game. Yeah. How many championships have you and Mother Teresa won now? Uh, two, two in the past four years. So I think we're, we're doing all right. Two's great, but you want more, huh? We do, and I think the kids want more. That's a great part. You see it, then take it upon themselves. Uh, they're doing the right things in the off season, and, and good things will happen that way. Kevin Barnes, thanks for your time. Thanks. Thanks for having me.